Hello everyone. So this is the last question that I'm taking from CAT 2017 slot two and probably the last question of this series as well. So we have come a long way. I mean, we have done this for all 55 days every day. One single question was uploaded. I'm sure it has been pretty useful to you till now. And uh, let's see what else we can do in future. Can we bring any better series than this? So we'll be bringing it for uh, sure. But yes, I think this series must have given you some good benefits in your quant section. So here I have taken a question from algebra today. And looking at the solution of this question, I'm sure it is going to be pretty useful for all of you. But yes, before I discuss this, I would request all of you to please go through all the previous questions if you have not seen them. These are going to be very useful for you. I believe that if you do all these 55 questions and look at the solutions and once you understand them, you can get at least four to five questions in this year CAT as well, which can be done by these methods. And I'm saying at least four to five. The number can be much bigger than this. Tell it to the other students as well. Whoever is preparing for CAT or any aptitude exam, this is going to be useful for them. Let's start with this question. An infinite geometric progression has the property that a n is equal to three times of a n plus one, a n plus two, so on and so forth for every n greater than or equal to one. The sum of the series is given as 32. Question is asking what is A5? First of all, let's try to understand this. What is he trying to say here? He is saying that every term is three times the sum of all upcoming terms, right? A n is three times A n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus. It's like A1 is three times the sum of all upcoming terms. A2 is sum three times the sum of all upcoming terms, so on and so forth. And that's how the question is asking you that if the total sum of the series is 32, what is A5? Let's try to understand this. And I'm of course going to give you an aptitude solution for this question. Let me write the series here for all of you. Just have a look at this. He says a term is equal to three times the sum of all the upcoming terms. So can I say if the sum of all upcoming terms is 1, then that term is equal to 3, right everyone? If the sum of all upcoming terms is 1, then that term is equal to 3. That means every term is actually thrice of the sum of all the upcoming terms. So in that case, what can we say here? The total sum is given as 32. And I know that this term is 3 times the sum of all others. So that means I have to divide 32 in two parts such that one part is thrice of the other part. Can't I straight away say that if sum of all these terms is 8, then this term is equal to 24. I hope you agree with me on this because 8 times of 3 would be 24. That is the first term and 24 plus 8 gives you 32. So basically that sum of all these terms is 1 fourth of 32 and first term is 3 fourth of 32. Right? Similarly, can't I do exactly the same thing for them now? From A2 up to everything, if sum of all of them is 8, once again, sum of all these terms, their thrice is equal to A2. So once again, I can say 1 fourth of 8, that is if 2 is sum of all these terms, then A2 would be equal to 6. Is that correct, guys? The way 24 was thrice of 8, similarly 6 is thrice of 2. And same way it would go on now. So ultimately what I see, A2 comes out to be 1 fourth of 24, which is equal to 6. So what will be A3 guys? A3 will be equal to 1 fourth of 6. 1 fourth of 6 is 3 by 2. What will be A4 then? A4 would be 1 fourth of 3 by 2. That is equal to 3 by 8. And what will be A5? It will be 1 fourth of 3 by 8. That is 3 by 32. That's what the question is asking us. 3 by 32 is the correct answer. There is no common ratio required, first term required, no sum of GP series required. A pure logic could have given you the answer of this question and the right answer is 3 by 32. That's how we do these questions in an aptitude way. Thank you very much guys. Probably we have come to the conclusion of this series now. Let's see if we can bring anything good later on as well. Stay with us at Baiju's Exam Prep MBA channel. This is Saral Nashir. Thank you very much, guys, for watching.